Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Perception. We will continue our discussion. Is Amno anti riot with our honourable guest, Yang Berhormat, Dr. Zulkifli Ahmad? Why be? In all fairness to Dato Najib, mm -hmm. is it not true that he gave advance notice of his political leadership when, as Deputy Prime Minister, he engineered the downfall or the anti riot power grab of the democratically elected Perak state government? Well, the answer cannot be anything except in the affirmative. It's got to be in the positive because it's all too well known that he was the one who contrived and strategically executed that design, that evil design of putting down a, a, a democratically elected and mandated government of Perak, of the Pakatan Rakyat. And that is no secret. And it's an open secret, it's down in the history, you know, perhaps going to be resigned to the dustbin of history. But then the fact remains that he was the one who engineered it. If he understands democracy, then he should not at all, you know, uh, engineer those the, and, 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 and contrive, you know. And in fact, uh, let that downfall or let that to the power grab, uh, which finally ends our almost like 10, 11 months of Pakatan riot in a government in, this, uh, in, in Pera. So yes, from coming from that perspective and viewed from that perspective, he is anti-riot. He is anti uh, the wishes of the riot of Pera. And, and, and that is very shameful, you know, and, and very uh, depressing to say of the least. And it was scandalous and criminal. Another telling evidence of AMNO's anti-riot government is in deliberately denying the Kelantan state government the petroleum royalty rightfully due to them. The irony, YB, is that Kelantan is a predominantly 95% Malay state. And AMNO insists that they are the champions and defenders of the Malay race. Mm -hmm. Is this not outright Malay hypocrisy, amno hypocrisy, to deny Kelantan what is rightfully due to them from the champions and defenders <laughs> of the Malay agenda? Could I disagree with your assertion? Could I ever disagree? I mean, it's so evident, it's so clear that should they really be the champion of the Malays, that would be one state of the Federation of Malaysia that they should provide all avenues and, and all the enabling uh, 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 help to get that state, you know, to move and progress on. And among other things would be, of course, to honor the, the Petroleum Development Act, which provides for a royalty to be paid. Uh, offshore, onshore, of states that 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 are endowed with that uh, with, 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 with with that uh, oil. So yes, very clearly, uh, Najib, you know, uh, opposed to his uh, late father, has taken to consider his political uh, 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 survival and political. Uh, um, <coughs> Uh, consideration uh, well beyond and superseding the interest of the riot. In that sense, he is clearly anti riot and again, you know, that, that is totally the antithesis and at loggerhead with his one Malaysia slogan and particularly to help the Malays, uh, to help the Malays, especially in Kelantan. So, you know, uh, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't avoid, you know, feeling that, you know, and, and, and this, is, this has been going on for quite a while. He, he would have, you know, at least regained some lost uh, um, respect or, or, or approval should he, you know, quickly um, remedy that and, and retract. But uh, he, 
he did not retract and he was insistent and they play around with um, with actually what was finally a, an intrusion of uh, the, the, the practice of federalism and outrightly uh, denying you know what was rightly uh, the, the rights of the people of Kelantan and in the word of Tunku Rizali Yang Ahmad Mulia Tunku Rizali um, destroying the sanctity of contract and it, this, this the entire fiasco the entire uh, issue has become one that really you know jeopardize and, and infringe on our integrity of our judiciary integrity of our of of the perception of you know uh, investors international or local that this government in the critical time will be willing to undo what was actually their words those that have been ratified in a in for example the petroleum development act uh, they are willing to go against it and to uh, dismantle it at their whims and fancies. Again, you know, this is anti-royal. YB, I would like I would like to now take your attention to Sarawak. Is it not true that there is much anguish and suffering in Sarawak, where Amno, as the leader of Barisan National, is responsible? for the anti-riot land grab of native customary land for the benefit of their cronies. Yeah, I think that is so obvious. You just finished the election, the state election of Sarawak. And in the course of, you know, that election, I personally have come to do a lot of, you know, research and collating of data, and especially by the Sarawak report. And it's so... Um, mind-blowing if I may use that word you know to have seen how the plundering of the wealth of Sarawak you know uh, and and literally sort of you know um, handed out to the family of um, Taib Mahmud and uh, there were about 61 reports of this in in the in the Sarawak, uh, uh, Sarawak report uh, 61 cases of, his, of it in the Sarawak report. Each and every one, you know, each and every report testifying to the amount of land. I know for one where his son Abu Bakr Mahmoud were given twice 70,000, not acres but hectares. And I qu didn't quite recall now the company. Um, I didn't quite recall the company. I used to be, you know, it just slipped my mind. And, 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 and 70,000 hectares of land, you know, given to one particular company of his son. I think that is, that is, that is scandalous for whatever reason. Because we know for a fact that the NCR or the native land has been taken away. And those who were, I was there on ground zero during the election period, campaigning period. I could see those people who most deserving of land staying in those lands for decades some of them almost five decades almost 50 years over were not given except for a temporary of leave tol toll this tol is only temporary of leave they as native of Sarawa, as citizens of Sarawa, should have been given this as what was given to the son, daughters, nephews, friend, and cronies of Mahmoud Taib and Taib Mahmoud, and to a point where you know, well, this is how the the, the, the state of Sarawak, the richest state of Feder one of the richest state of Federation of Malaysia, is now has become to uh, be ranked as the state that has got the largest hardcore poor, uh, relative poor, you know, uh, 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 by way of statistic, the number of poors in that state. And this is most ironical, most paradoxical, because the richest state that are now having the 
most numbers of poor, particularly Sarawak and as well Sabah, both of the Borneo states. Okay, YB. Let's get back to Peninsula Malaysia. Okay. In Malacca and Johor, UMNO's anti-governance has a different twist to it. Mm -hmm. And sadly to say, as in Kelantan, the victims here are the Malays. Let me elaborate. The undisputed op opposition leader in Parliament, Datu Sri Anwar Ibrahim, has not been granted the right to address the Malay electorate in both these states. Mm -hmm. Although he is allowed to speak to the Chinese and Indian electorate at Meet the People gatherings. Amnu's perception, it seems, is that the illustrious icon of Pakatan Rayat, Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim, is more potent, lethal, and terminal to Amno's political health in Malacca and Johor compared to the radioactive health hazard in Linas. Mm. Could you care to explain? Wait, again, uh, how? Uh, that that Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim is not good for the political health of UMNO mm. in Malacca and Johor. Yes, yeah, certainly. Because um, if you see, if you care to see the other states, particularly those that are more uh, accessible to information, and why we say Malacca and, and Grishmilan for that matter, even Johor, uh, these are the bastion of Amno's uh, uh, supporter, uh, supporters. Uh, traditionally, though, I mean uh, that goes into history. But then, um, why, why Ratu uh, Srianwar, the opposition chief, is so, is so, you know, uh, has become his political nemesis or the the arc enemy of Amno in those states is because immediately he comes around. What they fear is that the Malays, particularly the, the rural Malays, um, those that have got no access, access to information save the RTM and Utusan Malaysia, whatever, uh, they, will have a, they will have direct access to the personality of Anwar on stage, Chirama Trail, and all these would be uh, most frightening to you know leadership in Malacca, uh, Negeri Sembilan, and Johor, because if possible they just want to get Anwar behind bars so that you know he may be good, yes, he may be the icon, yes, but he will be a lot safer behind bars. So uh, they are now you know um, strategizing uh, after the the, the sodomy Mark II. They are now coming up with this uh, this this phonographic video, uh, claiming that that is the opposition chief, um, and 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 while while they know very well that you know if if if, if it is Islam and the Sharia, they must come up with for eyewitnesses, and in fact uh, in the civil uh, jurisprudence or in the civil court, uh, those you know act. Ironically, uh, incidentally, it's not even a crime. So, in fact, those people who have produced this video and in possession of that, and as well, you know, uh, showing them and exhibiting them and now producing them in quantities and given to head of kampongs, uh, uh, JKKK or the Ketua Kampongs, you know, the head of village. And these are criminals, but then you know how they have twisted this uh, to make uh, the victim as the perpetrator and the perpetrator as the victim. So this is very, again, you know, very sad and, and very deplorable. And I would think that uh, as soon as 
the Malays, the traditional, the, the Malays and the traditional Malays, or Malays in, tradi in traditional kampongs and villages uh, setting, as soon as they have access to the alternative media, and of course directly to Chirama, if ever they come out to hear our Chirama, that will be the time when there will be enlightenment. And this enlightenment, this will certainly uh, cause uh, them to shift and and that will be the triggering factor for for a for a for a tsunami you know and and if they get on to this uh, information um, I tell you uh, Johor and as well Malacca and Negus Milan will be you know uh, will be the coming states that will experience this seismic uh, tsunami kind of change in the next uh, general election. Hence the reason why, you know, being anti-Rakyat, they will continue to deny Rakyat their access to information. More importantly, the access to the new media uh, and of course the access to trauma. And I know it's seen as, as you said correctly, you know, they are arch rival for whatever, at all costs, he must not gain access to the, uh, the traditional Malay settings, and that is villages and kampung. YB, I really would like to continue our discussion, but our time is up. And on behalf of TV Pass, I sincerely thank you for being with us to articulate our topic for this week is Amno anti riot To our respected viewers, I thank you for being with us throughout our discussion. Wherever you may be, I wish you a pleasant weekend and a productive week ahead. On behalf of the production crew of Perception, until we meet again next week, I wish all Malaysians Hidup Riot, Hidup Pakatan Riot.